next experiment is a frequency shift scheme in this generation and detection. FSK is a digital modulation technique in which the frequency of the carrier waves varies according to the digital signal changes. Okay, it's a type of frequency modulation. The output of the FSK modulated wave is high in a frequency for a binary high input and is low the frequency for a binary low input. You can observe this in the output waveform. So with respect to its block diagram, input C1 and C2 which is of uh, 2 kilohertz and 5 kilohertz frequencies uh, with having an amplitude of 10 volt peak to peak to its the C2 CD4051 IC. So and apart from this a message bit signals of uh, 500 hertz along with the 10 volts peak to peak will be applied at the pin number 11 and at the pin number 3 you are going to have a FSK modulated signal. This circuit represents the demodulation circuit for FSK where exactly we are going to use 3 op amps and 1 OA79 IC where the FSK signal will be inserted here then we are going to get an output detected at this particular part. You guys can uh, check out this by using the waveform. You can observe the output signal here. The first one will be the message bits and the second one will be the output from it. As we have inserted two different frequencies of 2 kilohertz and 5 kilohertz, F1 represents the low frequency signals and F2 represents the high frequency signals. Where and all you will be having high input, you will be having a high frequency signal. Where and all you will be having a low input, you will be having a, that is if the message bit is 0, you will be having a low bit, low frequency signal power supply connector then we went with a carrier generator data generator then a modulator and a demodulator block uh, what is the difference between this and the discrete components it will be the same only thing is this here the components are integrated whereas in a kit uh, in a discrete you are going to connect to that to the breadboard the same components can be connected to the breadboard the IC we are going to use here is CD405XX series uh, you can make you data sheet will be available in the Google. You can make it and you can work it out. Okay. So what we do now is uh, we take a patch cords. Now the first thing what we need to have is for a frequency shift keying we should have two types of carrier signals. One is high frequency and the low frequency signals. Okay. This represents the carrier low and this represents the carrier high frequencies. This will be given to your modulator block carrier high to high carrier low to low and the next is you need to give the data bits so data input or data output to data input to the modulation block so what next we need to connect this to the CRO and we need to observe the input on the output waveforms okay first connect ground to the catch then take the other end and just observe the low frequency signal. You can observe your the low frequency signal. Then connect to high frequency one and check the high frequency signal there. Okay. Then connect to the modulation okay you can just observe the leveling of the signal there okay as per the theory concerns uh, there will be a high frequency signal at when the data input is high and there will be a low frequency signal when there is a low bit so we just change the input bits patterns and we just observe it no now I am changing the bits to let us go with the uh, 0 1 0 1 0 1 and 0 1 series just check it there you will be having consecutive 1s and zeros.
consecutives ones and zeros now you can clearly observe now you can clearly observe where and all the high high bit is there you will be having a high frequency signal when we have a low bit you will be having a low frequency signal okay now with what just we do is we just change the pattern now we just change the pattern we go with 0011 0011 0011 and we switch it you can observe now you can observe the things now okay we make uh, out of 8 bits we make 4 bits to 0 and 4 bits to 1 okay 